Let's go crazy, Edmonton. Good morning to you. Good morning, Canada. It's Breakfast Television. Debo Brown here with you. All right, that writers and actors strike that's going on in Hollywood, uh, it crosses borders, and we've already seen the ripple effect on international premieres and the fate of the upcoming film festivals that are kind of still up in the air, like the Toronto International Film Festival in September. To give us some insight on how the Canadian industry is preparing, we're joined by NKPR president and founder Natasha Kaufman. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. Good Thank to you. see you. Happy to be here. Yeah, it's good to see you. All right, TIFF is coming up uh, September 7th to 17th, and, you know, you do a lot of events and kind of prepare for all these stars to come in. What have you been hearing <laughs> this first up, and how is this going to change the game? Well, if it continues on. Well, TIFF brings in $180 million into our economy. Wow. So it will affect, I would say, a lot of the local businesses. It will affect some of the restaurants that throw a lot of the parties. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we need to remember that the Toronto International Film Festival is an international film right. festival. 70% of the films that come into Toronto are global. And they're global gems. And, you know, I think about my very first film that I fell in love with, which was an Adam McGoyan film mm -hmm. called um, The Red Violin. Okay. And I still think about that film, and I loved it so much. Those are the kinds of films you are going to be able to see this TIFF, regardless of what happens with the strike. And as you mentioned, it's an international film festival, and this gives an opportunity to some of the films that maybe get overshadowed a little bit by the big Hollywood names, or even, like, Canadian films, to really get... Push, pushed into the spotlight. A hundred percent. I mean, Adam McGoin has a film this yeah. year at the festival, uh, The Seven Veils, I believe. So there is that opportunity, I think, for us to really soak up like the films that are so meaningful that you might not normally see uh, become a blockbuster. Um, but they do make it into the, you know, the Oscar circuit and, you know, all of mm -hmm. that. So I, I'm, I'm excited about TIFF, regardless of what happens. Like, think about, like, the Oppenheimer premiere that mm -hmm. happened in New York. Christopher Nolan walked that red carpet without, you know, the talent. But I love that moment for him uh, because he's incredible. And so maybe this year the focus is going to be about the directors and the right. focus will be about... Um, you know, the filmmakers from that respect. And, and so I'm pretty stoked whatever, you know, happens. I do hope they come to an agreement and, and, you know, um, uh, a settlement of, of sorts that everyone's happy with. But if not, TIFF is going on, as Cap, you know, Cameron ba Bailey so eloquently said mm -hmm. uh, a couple days ago. Yeah, it's going to happen either way, and the SAG after strike is, is obviously going to affect it to a certain degree. But for companies like yours and KPR, what do you do to plan now? Like, how have you had to shift a little <laughs> bit, kind of knowing, okay, they might come, they might not? So, because you've mentioned, what was it, $180 million? $180 said, million. Which is incredibly amazing for yeah. the economy of the city. So, how do you kind of shift during this time? Well, I'm known for never having a plan B. And always focusing on plan A. <laughs> right. So for us, it's plan A. I mean, we're moving forward uh, regardless uh, with all of our events. I mean, we hosted Artists for Peace and Justice during COVID mm -hmm. because we felt that that was really important. And so all of our events are moving forward. And what we might do is tweak the focus a bit and focus on directors or Canadian talent and, you know, as we always do and always support our, our local talent. And that will be um, more of the focus for us. So for us, no plan B. It's just plan A. Plan A. I like that. I don't have a plan B. It's plan <laughs> A. And that's all we do. Of course, uh, we're seeing some of the gifting lounges and things like that that you guys are always known right. for as mm -hmm. well. So, uh, Natasha, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. Uh, we get more great. information. Thank you. I appreciate it. I got to go. Uh, I know we get a haircut today, I think, as well, from one of our clients. So. Um, uh, we'll do that. Uh, NKPR.net, or you can follow uh, NKPR, of course, on social media as well. And Natasha, once again, thank you for joining us, thank coming you. in the studio. Appreciate it. And have fun at TIFF. I'm oh sure my I'll God. see you throughout, but we can't wait. We'll be back with more BT after this.